I want to show you courage in action. And to do that, I've asked for some folks to help me. So my good friend Chris Burnett and his girlfriend Arielle is here. Will you guys actually come up here on stage with me for just a second? If you don't know this, Chris is number 68 for the Georgia Bulldogs. Any Georgia Bulldog fans in here, by the way? Yeah, yeah. Well, Chris, I, I don't want to say this. I know a lot of uh, football players attend here. I don't want to say this, but Chris is probably my favorite football player. And Ariel and, and uh, he both serve. Come on over here near me. I'm not going to bite you while we're here. But they both serve on our guest services team. And uh, Chris has been a huge part of Athens Church. And Chris is going to live out some courage today. And he actually made a video to help get that started. So turn your attention to the video screen just for a second, and you will see what I'm talking about. Hi, Ariel. This is your incredibly handsome boyfriend, Chris, here. Um, and I know that we're starting a new series here next week at Athens Church on Courage. So I kind of wanted to give you a little rundown on a couple of moments of my life where I've had to have courage. Um, one moment was three years ago uh, when you and I met, and I remember when Orson introduced us, and, and the moment that I saw you, I was immediately struck with your beauty and uh, was really nervous, didn't really know what to say, and I'm just so thankful that the Lord gave me some words to speak instead of choking on my words. Um, I'm so you know, thankful that, that you're with me. Uh, I've seen the Lord work in your life and, and help you build up courage. Um, moving to New York and, and not knowing anybody, and as well as moving to Atlanta and not knowing very many people, and, and just doing that you know, with faith and not doing it with fear. And uh, I know that in my life, you've seen me have to display some courage as well, you know, having to deal with different injuries and you know, different family issues. And also, you know, every week at practice, I have to go against guys like John Jenkins and Jarvis Jones. So, that, you know, that takes a lot of courage. Um, I know that what I've seen from you has just been beautiful, you know, not just on the outside, but on the inside, just the compassion that you've shown, uh, the love that you show others, the courage that you have, and, and just the way that you've sacrificed so much for this, this relationship has meant a lot to me. And uh, Proverbs 18.22 says, He who finds a wife has found a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. And, and I know for a fact that, that I've obtained a lot of favor from the Lord. And, um, you know, with all of that being said, I think that today may be another opportunity for me to show a little bit of courage. And uh, I have a question for you. Um, I don't know if I've ever been this nervous in, <laughs> uh, in my entire life, um, but, but really, babe, I'm, I'm so thankful to have you. Um, I really wish that I could, you know, do this in front of 92 million people so that they'll know that, that you're my girl, and I'm just so thankful that the Lord placed you in my life, and uh, I'm willing to, to sacrifice everything, lay down my life for you, and love you how. Christ love the church. So with that being said, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> 